I'm Logan. I'm Drew. And we're me. Or... <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> okay. And we're making <laughs> buffalo chicken dip. <laughs> and it's gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. And bought garlic bread too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, what the fuck are you oh, doing? Do it this way. It's literally oh. made so you don't have to. Yeah, do but it. I did it the wrong way. So it's supposed to be shredded chicken. We're just gonna cut it. We're just gonna cut it. Hey, why did you come so weird? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just cutting. You're like a bunch of worms. You never like worms. You like worms? Yeah. Have you ever seen how to eat fried worms? No, what the fuck's that? I do like more of like a, a movement with it, you know? That's you know, fine. Trust me, trust me. You don't need to trust do like me. a chop. Trust me, trust me. I've done this with onions and carrots before. <laughs> this is not carrots or onions. <laughs> I'm gonna spray a little bit for fun. Uh, that's I'm for bunsies? For bunsies. It's not, okay. it's not even gonna be a lot. It'll be cool. It'll be like really cool. It'll totally be cool. It'll be totally cool. So cool. So cool and hip and like funky and like so fresh and young. Yeah, fresh young. That's that's Sad. the name. That's the name of this cooking show. Fresh and young. <laughs> I'm fresh. I'm young. <laughs> and it's happening. There's apparently a video of Ray J just eating new cup noodles <laughs> at the BET Awards. Like he's like hiding behind someone eating a cup of noodles. Well, it's not even like a <clears throat> Real award. Are you racist? I mean, no, it's like who watches the ET awards? Not Lil Nas X. Did you hear about the whole thing with him? No. He was like, the no, BET awards are homophobic. They won't give me an award, even though I'm like the biggest artist that's black, which is kind of true. At school, I I ate eight hour dump, eight hour old dumplings. That's like they were just sitting there. It's not, it's not. That's why I got them. The, me and my friends would go to like this like apartment building near us and just steal all the food that like people didn't pick up for like hours. What do you mean that people didn't pick up? Like we checked the times on when it got delivered and if it was over in, like an hour and a half or two. Like, 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 like Instacart? Like it was DoorDash and Uber Eats, like all that stuff. Oh, and you're a degenerate. No, but no one was thinking <laughs> it. I lived down the street from it, so we were like, okay. So you'd walk into an apartment building and just steal Yeah, food. I'd wear a mask though, so like, you know. <laughs> <Ski> <laughs> Anonymous. <laughs> walk into a ski mask. It was like, honestly though, like, I got to a point, because I was broke. Like, I was like straight up dead broke several times this year. Yeah. And that shit saved me. I was like, yeah, there was points like, I would always have to like, be like to my friends like, hey, I'm gonna pay for all of my drinks tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and all the chicken is cooking. chopped up. Yeah. We're not, we're not shredding it. We decided against it because that's too hard and we don't have a shredder. <laughs> Do we? I don't think so. All right, two cups of shredded chicken. Dose. Oh. Oh. Get a spoon. Get a spoon. So you sound like this. This silly goose. Ah. Wait, how many cups was it? Two. It's eight ounces. Eight. You just made that. That wasn't true at all. Lane, lane, double. So this is gonna be. That's a crazy bar. I don't want friends. I want Audis. <laughs> I don't blame them. I. Like yeah, it would be sad. friends are alright, but like um, Audis. Imagine like the end of Smoke Perp's life. You just see him like sitting in a room with only Audis and no friends. <laughs> He's like, I yeah, should have his race. race. <laughs> There's just a bunch of Audis. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I should have got friends. A little squish sound it makes. I just lick my fingers and I'm like, like pussy. <laughs> Indochina. Just French Jewish. Polynesia. All right, so. This is cream cheese, and we're gonna put it in with the chicken. We're gonna switch pans. Yeah, this is what all of you have to do. You, you have to. You start have to start with a much bigger pan than you need. Like this, and then you have to be like, "Damn, that was stupid." <laughs> <laughs> you just drop some chicken on the floor. Well, I'll, I'll eat it. Cream cheese, chicken. Cream cheese, cock. Yeah. Bro, chicken and cream cheese is not that bad. Yeah, it's like, it's like poor people tuna. All right, so we're gonna do half a cup of hot sauce. Make sure you use crystal, it's quite good. Yeah, Louisiana. Okay, that is a half a cup of hot sauce. We can use a little more. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna drink this. Uh. 
He said, I just bought me some new water. Give him the camera. Whiter than Katrina. Shout out to New Orleans. I feel like that, I feel like that's not really. I feel like people of New Orleans would not be happy about those lyrics. Yeah, probably not. If you make any lyrics, probably shout them out. A though. natural disaster. <laughs> I don't that, think that decimated the city. Yeah, literally like destroyed almost everybody's lives. All right. Anyways. Oh, whoa, whoa! It's getting hot. It's it's getting it's hot. It's getting real hot. So take off all so your clothes. we mama. He said it, not me. So you're gonna Drop see this, and you're gonna be like, this just looks like cream cheese, chicken. And hot sauce. And you're right. That's, that's exactly what it is. That's what it is. And and you're done. You're totally done. You just you basically start dipping stuff in. Yeah, you you dip you dip graham crackers in crack. there. Crack. Crack. Only things with C crackers. Ranch. Okay. Crackers. So after you do that, you put the ranch in. Wait, did you tell them to mix it around nice and good? Yeah. All right. If you can't you tell, tell my friend here, Drew, is mixing it around real nice and good. Nice and good. Nice and good. Nice and to good. To the point where you would be like, does this need to keep getting mixed? And then he'd be like, yeah, nice and good. Yeah, you gotta make sure you get all the clumps of cream cheese out. You gotta mix it in nice and good. This ranch is straight up open, like it's ready to go. I feel like most like things like when you take the top, you have to take a seal out, but this one's just like, it's locked and loaded. Locked and loaded. I think we've had the oven on for like an hour. Yeah, it's fine. I, I, yeah, it's definitely fine. I'm gonna start fucking doing the other shit. God damn it, what are you doing, Logan? This goofball. Alright, so all the garlic. Why are we not cooking this? I don't know, you never told me to. <laughs> Alright. See, he never told me to cook it. I so I, I, it's been it's been ready to go for a while. It's been sitting here. Alright, alright. And then collecting, uh, gathering its uh, morale, I guess. It's gathering its morale. That's exactly what's going on. We're ready to go to war. We're going to put the buffalo chicken dip in the oven. Yes. And we're going to cook. We're going to cook. Believe me. Now, Logan, tell me, what are we doing with the garlic? Considering that this is that. garlic bread. I mean, you... Oh, there's a hair on it. Okay, so <laughs> so you think you don't want hair on the garlic? No, you don't want you hair don't. on the garlic. But mm -hmm. you, what you do want, you want garlic on the bread. Yes. And how do you do that? How do you think you do that? Tell me, Logan. It's, I don't know. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's pretty hard. It's actually it's easier than you think. You sprinkle. You see? It's a little bit of garlic. No. I mean, not a crazy amount. But like, get everything touched, you know? Get it like touched all around. Okay. But you gotta spread it well. I'd say three, no, I'd say about 10 pieces per bread. Wow, that's interesting stuff. And then, <laughs> and those are pretty, that's huge. Yeah, no, I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna troubleshoot. It's not gonna be a first try thing. You're gonna pick them up, you're gonna throw them down. Not a tri first try victory. No, not a first try victory. But you're gonna have, no. but you're gonna have garlic bread in the end. And that's you will have is. bread that has garlic on it. I, think I can tell you that much. I think we couldn't, didn't cut enough garlic. All right, so this is garlic up. We got it going. I'm ready to fucking kill and eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna kill and eat. All right, all right, we're, <laughs> I don't know. We're putting this in. Into the oven. Who was that artist who's put her head in the oven? Like the woman, like oh, the poet. Yeah, the poet. Writer. No, 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 no. Yeah, I think or she's a writer. She was a writer, definitely a writer of some kind. And she just shoved her head. You heard about that on Matt and Shane, right? She cooked her head. No, I learned about it in school. What? In like middle school. What? Yeah, the teacher told us. Um, who was super impressed? Art poet. Writer put. Head <laughs> no, right. Writer who shoved there. her massive ass head in an oven. No Sylvia Platt. Yeah, she's cool. Yeah. I think there's a ghost like that makes this property like light up a flame. Cause the last house that was here got burnt down. Uh. Cause the grill was on and lit the whole house on fire. I'm convinced there's a ghost that's trying to kill us with fire. Here. Maybe he's just being a goofball. No, it's, he's being a goofball. He's very chill at the end of the day. Like, he's like, all he does is take my things and then put them back and stuff. And, like, yeah. honestly, I think I just forgot where I put my stuff. Probably. But, That's likely. That's yeah. pretty likely. But I do think he might, at the end of the day, be trying to light me on fire. Yeah, but not today. Maybe it's tomorrow. No, I think he's, Did like, they die in the fire? 
No, no one died. But I think he's checking me. I think it's like like I left an oven on the entire night a couple times. One time I well, I'm gonna say is nobody died in the fire, then you're pretty sad. Well But I'm convinced someone did like a long time ago in a fire. I think you're wrong. That's a pretty good take. You want some invitation crab? <laughs> I'll pass. No? I'm telling you, it's fucking life changing. You know what else is life changing? Your cock. Whoa! Take it easy there. Take it easy. Why is it still I rolling if this shit's in the oven? Because this is gold. This is comedy gold. Alright, shit. Is it good? I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I think I made it worse with the peppers. I think it's gonna. It's worse with the peppers. We're we're about to do a segment. Um, what's it called? It's the drinking segment. Uh, the segment is called um, messing with Lubert. <laughs> Who's Lubert? You never watched iCarly, bro? I did. I don't remember though. Messing with Lubert. He was like the guy. And like, I don't know where. Fuck you. Well, I just have to flip somebody off on my Snapchat real quick. Okay, Wait, wait. sit right here. Let's take more shots. You know that song? Um, in my head. Uh, yeah. See, you know it's in my bed originally. I don't know about that. It is. Look it up. Enrique Iglesias. Wow. So you're really, you're really calling Jason Derulo a fraud. Oh, Enrique Iglesias, I think made it. <laughs> Bro, I've been having this thing for the past like a month. Is this one about 9/11 or not? No, that's the one. No, there's a song on this album about 9 11. Not this song. You know what's crazy? What's up? You know this song Scenario by uh. This song Scenario by uh. By Tribe Called Quest. I don't know about art. Like here. Here we go, yo. Here we go, yo. So what's so, so, so in the scenario? Here we go, yo. You know what song? Yes, I do know that song. So Busta Rhymes was like 17 when he recorded his verse for that song. Really? Is he Was he just always the king of fast rapping? He wasn't rapping fast. It's just a fucking great song. Oh, wow. Uh, wait. You gotta watch the video. It's a really cool video, actually. So he's just a very he's just a talented young soul. He's awesome. He, like, his first album, I forget what it's called, but it's like... Honestly, a fucking terrific album. Uh, there's no way I listened to the first Bus Ryan album. I did, like in high school. Because I used to be really into like old score apps. But is it like. Is it enjoyable? Is it a good album? Is it like terrific? I do like old score apps. I like to listen to like. I listen to the Elmatic a lot. Like, Elmatic is just, like one of the greatest albums. If I'm riding like a train or a bus, like I'm gonna listen to it. Yeah. I mean, it's one of the greatest albums of all time. Yeah. But. This album is great. I think it's Midnight Marauders. But this video is really cool. I'm on that and then some. Yeah. <laughs> That's the crazy one. Wants the nut inside your eye to show you where I come from. <laughs> His voice is crazy. RIP Fife Dog. I think I'm just shooting blanks. <laughs> Dude, honestly, that's like kind of like a blessing. Honestly, it yeah, could be. It could be one of kids, but then you can figure it out. You can like do a lab shit or something. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's so genius. That's Danny cool. Brown's so funny. He's so funny. Like, he, not only is he so funny, but he's also like, honestly, he's one of the best rappers I think of our generation. He's like, I, I think he's top five. Could be the most creative rapper of our generation. Oh, 100. I think he's one of the most creative rappers of all time. I think along with Playboy like Cardi. I put them yeah, both top five. Too. Uzi, Uzi probably. Uzi's pretty fucking creative. Most creative. Uzi's pretty creative, but then also like Uzi Thug. doesn't have variety. Yeah. Uzi, Thug's more Thug. creative than Uzi. Thug, Cardi, Danny Brown, Action Bronson, 100%. Yeah. He's kinda. so fucking creative. No, he's a genius. So he's a genius. Travis Scott should be put in that. Mm. He's pretty creative. Because if you think about Rodeo compared to Astro World, like Rodeo is one of the greatest albums. Yeah, of all Rodeo's time. incredible, and then Astro World's like pretty different. It's kind of similar. I guess it's not that. It's not you need like a lot of variety. He's not like that creative though. 
You need someone that fully changes like from one album to another. <laughs> but it's not even that. It's just what they do. Like Yeah, as well Young Fuck is different. He doesn't fully change, he just is like definitely one of the most creative. Like Danny Brown, like Twitch streams and Tyler like, the Creator could be yeah, one of the most yeah. creative. Earl, but, I think. Earl is up there, but he just doesn't get I don't know. He's also like too chill to like get the hype that he Not deserves. I agree, but like I think Earl's up there. No, I, I agree. But Danny Brown is 100% up there. I think Danny Brown... Might be the most creative. I think Danny Brown, Cardi, and Action Bronson, and Tyler the Creator, they might all be tied for first. I would say Danny Brown and Cardi and Tyler the Creator are tied. No, Action Bronson, dude. He has, a, he has food shows. Oh, if you're talking He's, like... Not no, I'm just, saying as, 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 a, as person, a person. As oh, individual. Action Bronson, 100%. Yeah. And Vince Staples is super creative, then if you say it that way. That's true. He He's did like make. Have you seen the that. short film for yeah, uh, and, for and Madonna? MFKZ. No, for Madonna. Uh, He's also in a movie too. Have you seen yeah, MFKZ. He's Cartoon. also in. Um, yeah, we watched that at Mix. Yeah, I wasn't. He's also that. in. Um, He's in that movie, dope. Yeah, he is. Yeah, but, he's like he's a slippery slope. Yeah. No, I mean, I don't think Vince is up there with them. I think his like his internet personality is pretty creative. Like how how he like presented himself. He would be like he would go on places and he'd be like lobsters can't die. <laughs> like he's an interesting big. guy for sure. He's but like I, funny. I don't, he's very funny. I agree. That's what I'm saying. Well, That's I don't what, think he's one of the most creative. Not not on the level. There's more. Up. Actually, Bronson is actually like unmatched creative. Oh, he's, he's a creative. No, he's a creative genius. He made like four TV shows. And he, and, like, paints. he paints. He paints and he like, does all this shit. Like and he like. He's just awesome. He's, he's a chef. So he's like a very legitimate He has chef. so much shit. He's awesome. Yeah, he's I'm the. Tr- he's like trying to think. Like, who else is up there? Rappers were creative. Childish Gambino. He's yeah. Impossible. Yeah. 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 You're right. Gambino's he's kind of, up there. Like he's definitely tied for number one too. Yeah. Just I'd like, say so. I mean, he's a fucking like actual TV show. Yeah. Like, like, like a. Like one one with the story. Like possibly the most respected one right now. Probably, yeah, probably the most respective show out there. Uh, for possibly certain up there. people. For certain people, I don't know. No, I mean, cause it, well, there's also that show like S- Succession. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're talking people. about. And there's that show with like, Adam Scott, Deliverance, I think. Oh, Severance? Severance. Se- the yeah. Apple TV one? Yeah, yeah. Is it Severance? Severance? Yeah. Yeah. I, I heard that, that was pretty good. My show. friend watched it. I wanted to watch it, but I never did. Yeah. I'm trying to think. What other rappers are up there? Like, I don't know, if you say business-wise, maybe Jay-Z, Drake, Degrassi. No, they're not creative, though. No, they're mm-hmm. just, like, good at business. Um, like, who's, who's a rapper? Blueface? Because <laughs> he's just, like, have you seen, it's like, like fucking all, the, all the girls, like, that live in his, like, they live in his mansion, and he just, like, they have bunk beds and shit, and they all call him daddy? It's, like, yeah, a cult. It's, it's really cool. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Oh, Young Lane. He's pretty creative. Young Lane's up there. Earl is actually really creative now that I think about his yeah, latest, latest album and stuff. Do you know this song by Action Bronson? Oh, yeah. This song this is the one where he says, so Lost 50 on the Mets, I'm a mess. Yeah, I'm a mess. That's yeah. a crazy line. That I love it. crazy. No, I, I love Action Bronson. He'll forever be one of my favorites. He's a young, he's a, he's a goat. Oh, well, I mean, it's not one person with Flatbush. Yeah, they're really creative. They're awesome. Their artwork and all that stuff, like their merch, yeah, they just so much shit. MF Doom's pretty creative, just just music wise, like just straight up. Well, was is he dead? Oh, he died. Yeah, yeah he just died like, like a couple years ago. Yeah, I remember that. Um, oh, Kanye, Kanye's. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. And you know, low key, Freddie Gibbs, like he he's in a way that is so versatile. I wouldn't his say that like, he's like, super creative, his saying but God wanted him just like to sell crack, so he can do yeah. anything. <laughs> yeah, Mac Miller. Yeah, is Mac like, who's a hundred percent up there. X. Uh, no, no. I think he's no, pretty, he had a lot of different music. I would say so. Very, very variety, big variety. I think. Well, yeah, yeah, but like, I don't know, but like same with like like Freddie Gibbs. Like, he's definitely more than more like. Creative than him, uh, than the X and like I mean, yeah he's been making music I for a while. So. I would no, say hundred percent. No, because no, like when he has uh, more similar music altogether. No, because Freddie Gibbs made so much different music. He's good at podcasts. He, no, he he had collabs with K Tronada 
He had collabs with Mad Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, he's not a rapper, but like. Just like as one of the most creative people. Yeah, his music is fucking awesome. Oh, I accidentally just stopped this. I love K He He's, he's like one of my favorite like producers by far. I might have fucked up. What do you mean? Like the the time stopped. So I think it's done. Thing. But I think like it's not overcooked or anything. I like this a lot. Is this is on Mexico? Yeah, yeah. Is. I'm gonna add this immediately. This is fucking crazy. My good color will look we young. This song is fucking crazy. It's such a bad. Why have I never heard this song in my entire life? I feel like you definitely have. I don't recognize it in any way. I mean, there's a lot of music I've heard and not. I just don't remember. My brain's not good. We just dropped this song with Schoolboy Q. Like, I might even last year. We dropped this song with Bigger Stone. Who is it? Pretty good. Too. Yeah. Recently? I mean, it's, like, oh, it's called Championship. Uh, I think I've heard it. No, it's called Four Things. Oh, I know that song. That's a re- I used to listen to that song like, all the time. It's a band. That was like one of my favorite songs for a while. Yeah, I used to love this song. Wait. Can I show can I play a song? On your computer? Just, yes. Just like, oh, I didn't grab my trailer. Can you grab my trailer? Yeah. Thank you. Of course, Nervo. Of Thanks. course. Friend. Of course, pal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you just did. So, we have concluded the cooking. Are you fucking kidding me, you fucking idiot? We it were, slipped right out of the scoop it back into it. Yeah, scoop it back into it. Yeah. it, it. Need something. Dude, it just like slipped out. This thing's slippery. I can't believe you did You're that. acting like, like, come on. I can't believe it's you did It's slippery. That. It slipped out. That's crazy that you did that. You know it's, that, right? It slipped right out. Like, Dude, use the fun. knife. Use the knife. Use the knife. The big knife that we use. Where is it? I don't know. What did you do with it? I don't know. It just slipped. It's slippery. That like, was absurd. You act like this is that. so easy. Dude, we just work so hard on this. You guys think this is so easy to do? Oh, that looks good. That looks good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, get it in there. It's like it's so it's fine. Slippery. It's literally the same thing. It doesn't matter. We gotta wipe the sides off. It's so hard to hold. It's so heavy. All right, we're, we're cutting that bread. Thing. He's a fucking idiot. Whatever. I ain't do. I ain't do nothing. All right. Cheers. 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 Bada bingo. Bada. All right. Pretty fucking amazing. It's good. Tastes a little bit like the counter, but yeah. Who cares? I'm trying to save. All right. This is over. Fuck you. Goodbye. Later, skater.